The final steps of America's boots on the ground. Major General Chris Donahue, the last US soldier to leave Afghanistan, boarding a C-17. Soon after, Taliban gunfire marked the moments they took full control of Kabul's international airport. There are now no foreign troops on Afghan soil. In daylight, Taliban fighters posed on the runway. First, I congratulate the whole nation, the spokesman says, because we have achieved our independence and we were able to force the Americans to leave after 20 years of jihad and sacrifice. Things have moved fast. The hubbub of evacuation flights every 40 minutes or so has ceased. And America was quick to claim it had airlifted almost all the numbers it wanted to. We believe there are still a small number of Americans, under 200 and likely closer to 100, who remain in Afghanistan and want to leave. We're trying to determine exactly how many. The UK's departure from Afghanistan came on Sunday evening. The Foreign Secretary today stressing evacuation targets were largely met. So we've secured safe passage for over 17,000 out since April, 15,000 in the two weeks of August. I can tell you in relation to UK nationals, we're now down to low hundreds with over 5,000 having been brought out. More difficult to say how many of the Afghan workers because it depends on eligibility. We're working through all of the arrangements with those third countries that uh, they may now go to to make sure that we can live up to our responsibility to take those back to the UK where they're British nationals or Afghans that have worked for us. As the world watched the tens of thousands outside the airport perimeter in the last few days. This is how it now looks inside it. An uncertain future now awaits millions in a country that's endured two weeks of chaos and 20 years of war. Julian Drucker, 5 News.